all the excitement of riding in front of that front is gone now. See, the sea's quite flat behind me. And um, I'm now trying to squeeze my way between the ice limit and a high pressure, which is off up to the north. And I've got uh, Cali, Lamy Kaleen, and actually Alan, La Fabrique, not that far ahead of me. So what are we gonna do? Need a little bit more speed. Need a little bit more downwind action. There's only one thing for it. Big Bertha is back. I must admit, I never thought I would be at my furthest point south in the Southern Ocean and uh, flying Big Bertha again, but it's the perfect sail for the conditions. Uh, so I gave myself a bit of a workout this morning. Um, I put her up on on a jibe into the ice gate um, and yeah I just need to keep an eye on the wind strength but I think she's going to be up for a good 24 hours not without a little bit of anxiety because the halyard lock my mum said halyard lock has been sticking I did as much as I could to service it I washed it and and it seems to be fine on the deck, but it's just when you take it down, you just never know. So I've got a little bit of anxiety over that, but this is the sail to use. This is the sail to use in this moment. So, so I've got to use the moment. Uh, the rest of my sails are free range. They live out on deck and I move them around according to where they need to be best for trim, but not Bertha uh, because if she gets wet, I can't move her. I just can't move her. And then when I need to hoist her, she'd be soggy and heavy and, you know, danger of ripping and stuff. So she lives indoors. Um, and, uh, <laughs> well, you have a look. I'm sure she's been sulking. Uh, so she's out. I'm giving her a run. And fingers crossed it will make a difference. So beware, boys, because Big Bertha's back.